Well, there is a special organization visiting El Paso right now that offers comfort following tragedy. That's what the Lutheran Church Charities is all about. Their service, though, is not done by counselors. No, nope, their staff is made up of dogs. Our Sarah Duran joins us live now from El Paso. She's found some incredible stories out there, and this is one of them. Sarah, how are these dogs making a difference in the community? bringing smiles during what's been a difficult time here in the city of El Paso. I want you to take a look behind me. We are at the memorial outside of the Walmart. As you can see, it's still growing. At 9 o'clock at night, people are still out here paying their final respects. And we were told those dogs were here throughout the week, offering comfort to those people that have been out here. Those canines are part of a comfort dog ministry. They travel all over the country where tragedy hits. In fact, they have a team of dogs also on the ground in Dayton, Ohio. But here in El Paso, they have been visiting survivors at the hospital. They've also made stops at the memorial outside the Walmart here and the Family Assistance Center. That's where members of the community have been gathering to receive counseling assistance since Saturday's shooting. I caught up with one handler earlier. He tells me how the dogs are making an impact here in the hurting community. To have that touch with the dog and just to see the dogs you could see the expression on people's faces just light up take them out of their their moment into another moment and a little bit happier now this group of dogs that were here this week they are heading home tomorrow after what's been a long week but their work isn't done yet they already have another team expected to be here on the ground as early as sunday to provide more comfort to this hurting community but for now we're live in el paso tonight sarah duran spectrum news